Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're getting into look two of this basketball series. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to the rest of the looks we're gonna be doing. Okay, so we're moving on to our brows. And like you guys already know, I have a video on how I do my brows and I will link that in the description box below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just speed through these brows. Okay, so the star of all of these videos for the series are my eyes. So we're going to go in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 1. And I'm just going to trace out a wing. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to... It looks like a large wing, okay? And then we're going to fill it in and then you'll see what I do with it after that. But y'all, I really do be winging these looks. I don't know where I'm going with them. I just try to incorporate the colors that are on the jersey that I'm doing for the look for the team. So I literally, I'm winging it. Every single time you see one of these videos, it's a winger. I don't think the looks out beforehand. I just sit down and figure it out right then. So you may see me pulling stuff out because I want to add certain things to it. So you'll, you'll see that throughout the video as well. But y'all, I really do love these eye bases by P. Louise. Um, these are the only things that I've owned from P. Louise are their eye bases I own, I think 0 0.5 through five, I believe. But um, I love using the really, really light base for doing anything with a pop of color. Um, it just really, really brightens the eyes up a whole lot. Um, but I will, I've been looking into their um, Acid Rain collection with the colored bases. So that would probably be the next thing I would buy to show you guys. But if y'all want to see a video on how these bases are used, because they're not like anything else. Um, it's not like when you use a concealer and you set it with a powder. These you don't set with a powder. You pat it in and they dry matte, okay? and they make any color pop but the thing with them is you have to blend them really really good like i'm doing here because if not it will crease so 
that's the only thing with these bases blend them really really well or they will crease so i'm going in with the warrior by juvia's palette and i'm taking that cream shade because this ben simmons jersey that i will be showing at the end um it is cream it's an ivory jersey even though their colors are white red and blue this jersey this particular one is a uh, cream so i use a cream shadow with a mixture of a white shadow as well to kind of incorporate all the colors of the team Okay, so I'm using the Vivid Sapphire NYX Liquid Liner, and I'm going to use this to outline on the outside of the shape that I created on the eye. This literally all was so, I held my breath the whole time. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, because I was trying to get precision, and sometimes my hands be a little shaky. So you may see me try to go over it, over it, and over it and over it to make sure that um, it is precise. And I still didn't get it precise. I'm not perfect. All my looks will not be perfection. And most looks you see me do are not perfection, but I did the best that I could. So I'm using this liner and then I'm going to go in with uh, a red liquid lipstick. Yes, I said it, a red liquid lipstick. Before the liners came out, y'all, all these colorful liners, we used liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks to get all these graphic liners. Um, people don't really do it anymore because you can find all color liners and whatnot, but I didn't have a red liquid liner. So I was like, I'm just gonna use my liquid lipstick. So the red liquid lipstick I'm using, as you can see here, I was tired because I was trying to get precision. But the red liquid lipstick you're gonna see me use is Rihanna Fenty's liquid lipstick in Uncensored. I love this red lip. Honestly, it's really, really pretty and matte. Um, I do have to, it's not super, super matte. It's kind of a semi-matte because I have to set it sometimes with a translucent if I want it to stay all day long. So we're just gonna to continue to outline the outside of the eyes and then we'll come back with skin. <laughs> And y'all, I'm so sorry if I'm not completely in the frame. Um, I had to look in the mirror. Like I had to look in the mirror if I wanted like to get it how I wanted it. So if you see me like really, really close in to the mirror, that's why, because I needed to be up close. I couldn't do it from afar. So don't be mad, please.
Okay, so y'all know my foundation routine. The only thing that I've added is a new primer and I'm starting to mix a few things to get um, my perfect look. And I'll probably do an updated foundation routine sometime next week to show y'all what I'm doing differently and what new products that I'm using. Um, Cause I know sometimes, well, we all know that our routines change up a whole lot. So I'm just going to fast forward through the skin because I'll do a video on all of this so it can be more in depth for you guys. But the eyes were the star of the show and I really enjoyed doing this look. I'm of course my favorite lashes, I see Lash Lounge. And I believe these are in Lifesavers. So yeah, I'm gonna just speed through the foundation and I'll do a more detailed video with the foundation.
love 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 this red lip but y'all this is the finished look hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe love y'all bye